want to talk today about the mental body. Um, in initiation in hermetics, uh, we're introduced to the idea of the four elemental regions of the physical body. The legs, the region, earth, gut, water, chest, air, and head, fire. This makes perfect logical sense in terms of the physical body, in terms of the functions of each of these quadrants of the physical body. Now we can do the same with the mental body. Different sorts of awareness that we uh, manifest. Okay, so the mental awareness of the physical being what I call the static self, this is the earth region of the mental body. It's here, in this present moment, in this physical sensorial body. Okay, we feel everything. We are right here, present. That is the earth zone, the earth region of the mental body, a specific type of awareness that is engaged in the physical realm. This is the way that the mental body integrates into the physical realm, interacts in the physical realm, is through the earth awareness. Okay, but the earth region is really the whole mental body acting at once, the fire, air, and water regions of the mental body acting at once together that, you know, we navigate the um, present moment of time-space through. So it's not a singular thing. Uh, it's a combination of all these factors of awareness acting together. That is the earth region. The water region is what we commonly refer to as the astral body. It is that uh, part of our awareness that uh, is involved in emotions, that is our character. This is all water region of the mental body. The emotions, the character, the sentient self, the self that senses through the physical body, but it senses in and of itself. And all the astral senses, these are all aspects of the water region of the mental body. Then the air region of the mental body is the part that is involved purely with thoughts and ideas. It's the, the constant narrator of our lives. This is the air region of the mental body. So, the thinking mind is the air region. Then there is the fire region. The fire region is a purely perceptive part of our awareness. It's the part that perceives perceives essential meaning, perceives and exists. It's the part involved in being, um, not doing, not naming, not thinking. This is the purely perceiving aspect of the mental body. It's very flame-like. It's ephemeral. It's always moving. And this is the part of our awareness that is capable of directly perceiving the greater self, the eternal mental body. Now, I'm not including the eternal mental body in these four elemental uh, sections, but it is the fire aspect of our awareness that rises up to the eternal realm and perceives the greater self, and the one self. It is the only part of our awareness that is truly capable of connecting with that 
part of existence. Okay? Now, I've spoken about astral and mental wandering in the past. Wandering with the water region of the mental body and wandering with the air region of the mental body. But aside from the Archaeus, I haven't actually spoken about wandering with the fire region of the mental body. And so that's what I'll talk about here. Now, to do this, we must separate out all of the bodies in a, in a method that I recommend in the Archaea. So we start by separating our astromental body from the physical body. Now, we can go about this two ways. Um, the method that I recommend in the Archaeus is to take the astral body, astral mental body, the conjoined mental and astral body, together out of the physical body. Um, and I, I, I really prefer this method in this instance. Uh, it may be easier to do it Barden's method, where you uh, exteriorize the mental body, stand before the astrophysical body and draw the astral body out and then enter the astral body with your mental body. That is probably easier to accomplish at first. Um, drawing the astrophysical body, the astromental body out of the physical body takes a little bit more concentration. Um, you really have to uh, have done some mental wandering beforehand to understand what it really means uh, to draw them both out together. So, and then we'll continue on with this method. We've drawn our astromental body out of the physical body, or yes, out of the physical body. Now we're looking back at the physical body, and then we sit our astromental body down. Um, and I recommend doing this. Sit down in your astromental body, right at the foot of the bed, for example, or uh, next to the chair uh, where your physical body is reclining. Okay? So your astromental body is sitting down next to your physical body. And then you remove your mental body from the astromental body. So, you then have the physical body sitting down, the astral body sitting down, and the mental body standing up, looking back at the astral and the physical body. Okay, so the mental body is truly exteriorized from the two bodies, and you have the, um, <clears throat> the violet cord that connects your mental body to the astral body and then the purple cord that connects to the physical body, okay? We have these two cords. Now, you're, you need to focus the awareness within the air body. Well, first, let's sit the air mental body down next to the astral and physical bodies. So you've got all three bodies are sitting in a row. And while you're in your air uh, mental body, focus your awareness on just the perceiving aspect of the mental body. This is the fire realm. The fire region of your mental body is purely about perception. There is no expression. It is only perception. There is no thinking. There is no putting things into words. It is before words. It is before thought. It is just purely perception. Now, let that go. The fire will just of itself take off out of the air region and you will be released. Now, 
as you're going into this process of releasing the, the fire region, um, you can aim the fire region. This is really what you need to do is aim it somewhere beforehand. So you fill the air region, which is really the air and fire region, of your mental body um, with the goal that you want to aim your fire region at to perceive that region, um, that area, whatever. I suggest uh, aiming for your greater self because you, you already have a feeling of what that is. So you can fill your mind with the desire, with the will that you um, are transported to your greater self and have an interaction with your greater self. Okay, so you set up that intention and then you focus in the perceiving part of your awareness that pure perception and release it. And you go, <laughs> as it were, to your greater self. And you have a direct, direct perception of your greater self and all that that involves. Um, and you can go other places as well. Um, you can visit any of the higher spheres, any of the planetary spheres, with the fire um, region of your awareness alone and have pure, totally, completely objective perceptions. You can go anywhere, really, with um, the fire region of your mental body. And I, I spoke a little bit about this before when I was speaking about uh, mental wandering and talking about a type of mental wandering that is purely the perception of essential meaning. Um, and this is done with the fire region of the mental body which is just about perception and it's perceiving at the, especially at the level of the greater self, nothing but essential meaning. Um, and it's, it's a totally different world, really. Um, yes. <clears throat> and from there you can go to the eye itself. I mean, this is the part of the awareness that has the direct perception of the eye. Now, when you get to the greater self, when you breach that barrier between um, the uh, sequential and the non-sequential, between the temporal and the non-temporal, uh, between, uh, yes, the realm of sequence, this is really what defines us, is sequence. All of our experience is sequential. But the greater self's experience is non-sequential. Everything is all at once, etc. Um, the only way to experience that is with the fire region of the mental awareness. And then that takes you to the non-sequential regions of awareness. But they are not me. You know, um, up until that, that uh, breaching that barrier, um, there is self, you know, it's, it's Ron who is doing this, who, who is sending off the fire region of his, his mental body um, to reach the greater self. But the greater self is not me. You know, it's not the little me. It's um, a broader sense of I. Um, uh, that's really hard for me to put into words, this difference. Um, so, if you can experiment with that, I, I uh, urge you to go there. Um, if not, I mean, it, it, it's something to contemplate and to be aware of that these different aspects of the mental body are always in play, always in action. 
you know, here in the physical, um, the earth region of the mental body, all of these aspects of awareness are active, you know, in play. We even if we don't recognize them here in the physical, um, uh, the earth zone of our mental awareness. Um, they are all still there, and we can, you know, um, make use of each of them here in the earth zone. We can use our astral senses. We are always using our astral senses, but we can be consciously aware of them, just as we can be consciously aware of our mental senses and make use of them, and even consciously aware of the perceptions of the fire region of our mental bodies here in the physical, uh, the earth zone. Um, they're a part of our earth um, mental body experience. Always are, always have been. We just don't recognize them for what they are. Okay, so that's it. Alrighty, till next time. Bye-bye.